The TV wedding special. According to TMZ, the proud parents want to tie the knot next year, but there's no date set just yet. The reason? They want to make the decision based on what's best for TV. Talks of a wedding special have been up in the air for a while now. They already scored a pretty sweet deal for their baby birth special, which will hit the small screen pretty soon. But now, with a wedding around the corner, they're listening to all offers. Still no word on what kind of money they could get, but we bet once they start fielding offers from networks, they'll score themselves a pretty nice payday for the big day. But the real question is, will Kim skip his wedding the way he skipped hers? If you've listened to any of the weekend's music, you know that he at least knows what drugs are. But the singer isn't afraid to tell The Guardian, the past couple of albums I do get back to using drugs as a crutch to help spark ideas. It's reported that The Weeknd struggled with drug addiction from 2008 to 2010, but now he uses narcotics to help, well, win Grammys. He tells The Guardian, even on this new album, you have writer's block, and sometimes you're like, I can't do this sober. I had to get that little jump, and the ball started rolling, and then I didn't need it anymore. With hit songs like Party Monster, literally using the snorting of cocaine as part of the beat, this isn't exactly surprising. According to the Daily Mail, The weekend's drug history includes cocaine, MDMA, painkillers, Xanax, mushrooms, ketamine, and cough syrup. But now this star boy is in control, so that's promising. The only singles Justin Bieber wants to focus on have to do with his music. The pop superstar confirms to Ellen DeGeneres that he is single. But simmer down, ladies. Bieber tells the talk show, I'm not really looking either. Of course, Ellen thought it would be a good idea to ask Bieber if he's partaking in dating apps like Tinder to find matches like every other dude his age is doing these days. Bieber told her that he doesn't use the apps on the road and has no interest in doing so. Which makes sense, considering the 22-year-old is still followed by crowds of women that he can swipe left or right to in real time. These days, Bieber tells the talk show that he's feeling healthier than ever, and it seems that he's concentrated on his own well-being and doesn't want to be tied down. He recently told TMZ that he was a pretty normal guy. So a 22-year-old that isn't ready for a relationship? That sounds extremely normal to us. Alec Baldwin was all smiles after taking Donald Trump to task. We caught up to the actor as he took a chilly walk with his family in New York City, and we gotta think he's feeling pretty good about his now famous tweet. Just a few days earlier, Alec was doing an impression of President-elect Trump on Saturday Night Live, and the Donald didn't take too kindly to his work. He wrote that he just tried watching SNL and called it unwatchable, totally biased, not funny, and the Baldwin impression just can't get any worse. Alec, of course, clapped back, posting this tweet declaring, release your tax returns and he'll stop. Ha! Coincidentally, on the December 3rd episode, the opening sketch lampooned about how Donald behaves erratically on Twitter. Guess you gotta chalk this round up for Baldwin. Amy Schumer might bring laughs all over the world, but unfortunately, she can't always do it in person. E! Online reports that Live Nation has announced that her Australian and New Zealand tours have been cancelled due to her overwhelmingly busy schedule. The comedian was originally supposed to tour through Down Under, pouring through Brisbane, Melbourne, Sydney and Perth, but she'll have to reschedule those for a later date. Although Aussie fans will be bummed, they will receive a full refund. Schumer also apologized for any disappointment. The comic has had an incredibly busy tour and is also tied up with her TV shows, movie scripts, her book, The Girl with a Lower Back Tattoo, and other obligations that accompany her exploding career. Forbes estimates that Schumer's work has earned her $17 million in just a one-year span, so she can afford to cancel a few shows. And I guess... You're not moving to Canada anytime soon, right? That's Lena Dunham boarding an early morning flight in Los Angeles, just fielding the question once again about her following up on the promise that she'd move to Canada if President-elect Donald Trump was in office. No, Lena and that smile will be here to stay. She originally told The Hollywood Reporter back in April 2016, I know a lovely place in Vancouver and I can get my work done from there. I know a lot of people have really threatened to do this, but I really will. Sigh. <sighs> of course, 
course, she's not going anywhere. Instead, Us Magazine reports that Lena has spun this into another women's empowerment direction, now saying, I can survive in this country. The 30-year-old says, as a Jewish pro-choice sexual assault survivor with a queer family member and a belief that we are all exactly and beautifully equal, I can survive staying in this country, my country, to fight and love, or the land of the free and the home of the Lena Dunham. Chris Brown, don't look now, because Karuchi Tran is looking good. The 28-year-old model put her assets on full display at Soho Beach in Miami, Florida. And even though we're in the month of December, she had it looking like it was the dead of summer. Tran was sporting a powder pink bikini and spent her day taking snaps, having drinks, and enjoying dips in the water. Ultimately, she was living it up and making us wish we were there in the Sunshine State. And if Chris Brown is watching, he might be wishing the same thing. As as far as we know, Karuchi is a single woman, but after putting her flawless figure out there for the world to see, we bet she's going to have a few suitors coming her way. Either way, we're just glad to see she's sending temperatures rising, because we sure do welcome that heat. Sometimes our pictures, videos, and stories are so hot, people worry